Hello, Bio 104 students. Welcome to Biggs House of Saber College. When we started this journey through ecology and evolutionary biology together, neither of us could have anticipated that you would be doing the rest of your learning online and I would be doing the remainder of the instruction from the study of Biggs House at Saber College. What I want to do today is touch upon the ways that Dr. Hartman and I are completely revamping Bio 104 for the online version. And second, the first point I'll address is the fact that Dean Chun has announced that all courses in Yale College can now be cr taken credit defail. If you are an EEB major or a prospective EEB major, you can take Bio 104 credit defail and have it count towards the prerequisite for the major. I am certain that other biology majors will be following suit. However, I'm not aware of the details or involved with those conversations. I suggest that if you're an MBMB or an MCDB major or prospective major, you should reach out to your DUS of those departments to get clarification about the role of credit defail for Bio 104 and having it count towards the majors. Okay. Now, how are we restructuring Bio 104? Essentially, we're going to be distilling down each of the one hour and 15 minute lectures to about a 30, 35 minute lecture that will essentially try to provide you with the elements that I think are necessary to master ecology and evolutionary biology. And these are elements that will allow you to be completely literate in the biological sciences given everything else you studied in Bio 101 through 104. We are completely doing away with the exams in this online version of Bio 104. Our assessments and your grades will be based on 15% participation. That means watch the lectures. You don't even have to laugh at my jokes, but just have a presence watching the lectures will give you 15% of the grade. The other 85% of the grade will be based on a set, we're still working on the number, it's likely to be one per week, a set of short take-home exams slash P sets. Each of these take-home exams P sets, other than P set two, which was already scheduled, deals with phylogenetic analysis and phylogeny reconstruction, the new P sets that are replacing the exams will essentially have questions directed at the readings that you are normally doing for and discussing in section, and then we'll present you with a set of questions that are based, that are taken from the lectures, and you will get to choose two of, say, four of the questions that are presented. Your answers to these questions will be short format essay, and by short format essay, I mean your responses would be essentially a half a page to a full page typed. Now, these are take-home exams, so in a sense, no holds barred other than the obvious uh, sharing of answers with members, uh, other uh, colleagues in your class, but we are fully aware that all of the online resources will be available to you. This is a stressful time for all of us, but what I'm asking you to do is really commit yourself to learning the principles that we will be discussing in the lectures. If you do that, if you commit to that, and commit to perhaps a little bit of the scholarship that you'll be doing with online resources, really try to come up with original answers. And by coming up with those original answers, you're not just doing it for a grade, but you're doing it to demonstrate to yourself that you can learn this material. And I think you should learn this material to make you fully uh, aware of the range of issues covered in 21st century biological sciences. Now, what Dr. Hartman and I are trying to do is to schedule times of which I will be available via Zoom for live chatting or live or, or engagement with you with regard to questions that you may have about the material. Now, Given the different time zones we occupy and just the, the number of students in the class, this is clearly gonna be a challenge, but we're hoping to schedule multiple times on Thursdays and Fridays, and perhaps assigning students to different times, which I would be available to engage with you 
with regard to questions um, uh, that deal with the material in the course. We will not likely be holding section in the traditional sense when we are here on campus, but the teaching scholars will be available to you as another resource as you engage with the material. Also, we will continue with the peer tutoring. Now, this overview is really light in detail at this point. So let me summarize again and tell you that the details are forthcoming, meaning in the next two or three days. Be patient with us, please. But the overview is, overview is this. All of our lectures are gonna be distilled into 30, 35 minute lectures that will really get at the heart of the material that I think you need to master in ecology and evolutionary biology. We are not having any exams in the course. So no midterm, no final as we had scheduled before. Instead, there will be a series, I believe it's six or seven PSET slash take home exams. Now remember PSETs one and two were already scheduled in the regular on-campus version of the course and those will continue to go forward. The remaining PSETs you could think of as short um, take home exams that will have you engage with the scientific paper reading one per week, and that will allow you to choose two questions from a set of multiple questions that cover the material on the exam. I just wanna take a moment to recognize and thank you all for the patience that you've been exhibiting as this university goes to this very, very tough time dealing with this COVID-19 threat. As an instructor, uh, I'm here to help you engage with this material that we're covering in, in Bio 104 that covers ecology and evolutionary biology. But as many of you know, I'm also a head of college. So I serve a role in student life on campus. I hope through the agency that's allowed in this course that you think of me as a resource in those aspects of, of your life as you're engaging with Yale in this new uncharted online approach. I really look forward to uh, engaging uh, this material with you in this new way. We ask for your patience as we uh, chart on this unprecedented set of challenges before us. And I hope that through this experience together, while we're living it together in the context of this course, we could move beyond what's being called social distancing, let's call it physical distancing, and find a way of social engagement as we're interacting together in this course. And I encourage you to have a similar spirit as you engage in your other courses. You all, know, you all have my contact information. You know how to get in touch with me. I encourage you to do so if you want to talk about material in the course or anything else that's going on with regard to your life, interacting with Yale online, uh, issues of engagement, and perhaps whether anxieties or frustrations that you have in terms of adjusting to this new course uh, as an undergraduate student with this entirely remote online presence. I really empathize with your situation and in a sense, we're all in the same boat together on this one. So as we move forward in charting this new uh, uh, direction together, uh, I just want to let you know, I'm really looking forward to engaging and learning with you. And um, until next time, have fun, be well, be safe.